Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lindsay and I'd love it if you join my little YouTube family. I am going to be doing mostly DIYs on this channel and some makeup tutorials. If you'd like to see this look that I came up with today, let me know in the comments down below and then I'll film it and we'll let you see how I got it. But this video is going to be a DIY video. Like I said in previous videos, this is what this channel is going to mostly be about, but I'll throw in, in the occasional makeup tutorial in the mix sometimes. So the video I'm doing today, I actually saw this picture frame on Mr. Kate. If you haven't checked out Mr. Kate, you should definitely do that. They're a really awesome channel with home decor ideas and things like that. But anyways, this wasn't a DIY on their channel, but I saw them use a picture frame that was just glass on both sides and the picture like in between. And then they had like some other pictures in there, whatever. It was really cool. And I saw it and I was like, I wonder if I can DIY that rather than buy it. So that's what I did in this video. Now, after I filmed it, I was looking up, like trying to figure out what it was called to see like what I needed to post and things like that. So as I was looking it up, I realized that there are other people on YouTube that had actually done this same DIY thing. So you may have seen this before, but hopefully this is new to you. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was something that other people had done. I'm really trying to be original on this channel, but it's very difficult because there's so many people out there on YouTube that make videos and DIYs. So you're probably gonna run into people that have done the same thing as you on most things. Anyway, I hope you like this DIY and if you do, please give this video a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed, I'd love it if you subscribed to my channel and joined my little YouTube family. I can't talk. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Let's jump into this DIY. Hey guys, so before I get started, I'm going to preface this with the fact that I kind of edited this terribly, so please forgive me. But anyways, the first thing I'm doing is I'm starting out with these two picture frames that I got from the Dollar Tree and taking out the inserts. I got two in this size and then four in a larger size. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take out the glass out of those. And I'm going to use these needle nose pliers to pull out the clamps. I guess that's what they're called. Um, it gives it just a nicer appearance. To secure the glass into the frame, I'm just taking some hot glue and placing it into each corner of the picture frame. And then I'm just going to gently, but very hard, I'm going to press the, I don't know, that doesn't even make sense, but I'm going to press the glass into the picture frame. I'm going to hold it there securely for long enough for the glue to dry so that the glass doesn't slip out and break. So now I'm going to take this little grass stuff that I got in a bouquet at Dollar Tree. I thought it would look really cute in the picture and I think it does. I actually cleaned that glass before I placed it, placed it back into the picture frame and then glued it down with E6000. I actually went back over with hot glue to secure it better. Found that works a lot better than the E6000 on this project, but there it is. Hope you like it. Alright guys, so for the next project here, two more picture frames. I'm not going to show you all the steps again, but here I am just gluing the glass into the picture frame like I did before. So here's the window cleaner. Didn't show me cleaning it. My editing skills are top notch in this video, I'm telling you. So that's a picture of me and my husband from our engagement, and I thought it would be really cute in here. And then I'm just taking the hot glue, as you see, and gluing all around the edges just to make sure that it doesn't fall out and kill me or anybody else. So now I'm taking these toggle clasps that I got at Walmart and I'm using the E6000 to glue them down. By the way, that did not work very well. So I do recommend using hot glue and a lot of it to make sure that these things stay because one ended up falling on the ground and luckily it didn't break, but it was very dangerous. And here I'm attaching the little um, chain. Alright guys, so for the last DIY, I'm just showing you cleaning the glass. And this is a picture that I made for me and my husband's wedding back in the day. 
and I thought it would be really cute to add here. It was just kind of a memorial for the family members that had passed away that couldn't make it to our wedding, and it's something that I really think is special and wanted to add in this design. So here is a chain that I am using. I got it at Walmart, and these little ring things came with the other clasp things, I think, or did it come with the chain? No, it came with clasp. So anyways, I'm just attaching that to the hooks, and then, um, I'm using the needle nose pliers to cut the chain. It was a little difficult, but it was easy enough that I think anybody could do it. So yeah, I'm just attaching that little clasp to the chain and then attaching it to the other little thingy. I don't know what they're called. Make sure you use a lot of hot glue for that. <laughs> guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed i'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and also make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified of all future videos so all right guys i'll see you next time bye